so Christmas came early this year. I've been dying to try one of these brushes to see if one, it made it easier to blow my hair out and two, if it was actually any good. Yeah. They have been sold out for quite a while and I was so surprised when I saw this holiday box at the hair store. I am so glad I waited because I also wanted to try this anti-humidity spray. This is going to be a first impressions on this Amika blow dryer brush. I've been dying to try it since I saw it. So on the booklet, it states that the blow dryer brush has three settings. It has low heat, high speed, medium heat, low speed, and high heat, high speed. And I usually do my hair with low heat, high speed in the beginning just to take all the excess moisture off. I shampooed my hair about I would say about 45 minutes ago and I've just been letting it air never I start blow drying when the hair is absolutely soaked just because I know it takes so long so I just find something else productive to do in the meantime while it's air drying. Um, I'm going to be prepping it with uh, the rose hair and body oil. I'd rather do a leave-in spray or something like that but I unfortunately I don't have any I ran out. So again I'm going to be prepping with the rose hair and body oil from Way. So once you plug it in, the blue light will come on and then let's test out to see what this sounds like. So let's do low heat, high speed. Let's do medium heat, low speed. It's very quiet. And high heat, high speed. I'm gonna be using the low heat, high speed to take all this excess moisture out of my hair. And then I will bump it up to high heat, high speed to then dry everything and then bring it down to medium heat, low speed to seal everything once it's dry. And hopefully that works. So that's gonna be my method to dry my hair with this Amika blow dryer brush. And we shall see what it does. So far I've only done this side, I'm not complete with it yet, but I wanted to stop and give you my first impressions so far. I started off as I usually do with either a Dyson or a Bobulus blow dryer with high speed and low heat. And that is just to take the moisture out of my hair. Because I use hot tools so frequently, I try to avoid heat at all costs. The high speed, low heat setting on this dryer was working so slow. I feel like in five minutes, I would have already gotten way more moisture out of my hair with a regular blow dryer. I really liked how the brush was smoothing my hair already. And I also liked the fact that I was only using one hand to hold the machine. Now, this is not heavy at all. It's almost like, it's almost like holding my Dyson, which is great because my other blow dryer that I use is a little heavy. And then I have a brush to go with it. So I'm like, doing this kind of motion with both hands whereas this one you just need one hand to blow dry your hair so I did like that and another thing that I did like too is that the handle is a thicker handle in diameter so it's way more comfortable than holding a brush I really was taken aback because by now my hands would be clenching up and bothering So I've completed half of my hair. I feel like my hair is definitely smoother. And I think that's because of the boar bristles in the machine. 
And this side, I only just dried it a little bit with the low heat, high speed setting and I have not polished it at all. When I switched to high heat, high speed, it just definitely went so much faster. And so far, I really like it. In the beginning, I was like, oh my gosh, it doesn't sound powerful. It doesn't sound like it's gonna do anything to my hair. Very skeptical about it. I like the way, the fact that I can just lift my hands up to get a little lift at the root without having to also lift up my other arm as well. I'm gonna do the other side and then I will give you guys my final first impression. For my first impression of the Amika blow dryer brush is that it is absolutely worth it. In the beginning, I was so skeptical. It seems like very weak and I have my own method of blow drying my hair. I start with high um, speed but low heat just to get the moisture out and then I get I bring it up to about medium and, or maybe high depending on how much time I have to get ready tried it with this and at first it wasn't working out low heat was taking forever to get the moisture out of my hair but then when I bumped up the heat um, I got this super smooth finish in 30 minutes I started up at around 2 30 and it's now three and two minutes I think the result is so smooth i might have gone faster if i did um part my hair but usually i don't part my hair when i blow dry to get the moisture out and once it's 100 percent dry i then just with a brush or even with my hands i just pulled my hair and use the heat to then dry it and then i use um some sort of heat to like a curling iron or a flat iron to further smooth my hair i was excited and then once i plugged it in and i felt the air flow I was a little skeptical, but now I'm just so excited that I have something that doesn't make me dread wanting to do my hair.